everyone. I am Jojo, the thrifting teacher, and this is my third YouTube video. I decided to start creating videos because I love thrifting, and I love reselling, and I like finding treasures and deals and stuff for my house and stuff for other people, and I love to resell. It's just a hobby of mine. I get to buy things, but I get to enjoy them for a little bit, and then pass them on. Um, if you notice there, I still have my pile of bubble wrap and all kinds of things that a neighbor have get, has given me. I need to go put that in storage. <sighs> I'll do that tomorrow. And I have a pile of clothes I want to show everyone also. Um, and this is just me. And I am an educator. I have taught elementary and middle school right now. I'm a new teacher mentor. So I mentor new teachers and... I also would like to share some of the books that I've read and recommend, but someone that I talked to today at work suggested that I keep that in my playlist, but do two separate. So people who aren't really interested in that don't have to watch it. Um, both things are my passion. I love reselling and I love reading young adult and children books. So best of both worlds on one YouTube channel, I think. So let's get into it. Um, again, I don't edit these videos because I am just doing this for fun. Eventually, maybe I'll edit, but right now it's just loosey-goosey for fun. One of the finds that I have is called Outback Trading Company. Oh my gosh, look at this vest. It is so soft. Look at this magical vest. Um, I paid... I paid $8.49, so I paid up, so that means I paid more than I would have liked to, but I also get 20% off because if you sign up for Goodwill's emails notifications, every month they give you 20% off, so most of the time I go to Goodwill's, I go to Savers, I go to Salvation Army, I go to, um, there's a couple like church thrift stores around here or uh, just other thrift stores that I find, and I just go there and look for items and it doesn't I don't have a rhyme or reason why I pick some stores some stores I do go back to every week because they have some cool stuff other times I just I'm driving by one and I'm like oh I've never seen this one before we have a lot of Goodwills here in Arizona a lot I think we have more than 17 uh, I've probably been to I've probably been to about 10 so I'm gonna say we have at least 20 if I've been to at least 10 of them any hoozle so this is something, look at this, look at these in the back. They open, they, to make it a little bit wider, I guess if you're maybe on a horse, I don't know, because the logo, I don't know if you can see that, it has horses on the back, but uh, it's just, it's such good quality. Zippered pockets, um, it has the, it has the zipper here, but then it also has a zipper at the bottom. Um, and I know that means quality too. And then I really liked the, the tag. I really like that tag. There's something about a quality tag that makes me think it's quality. Ooh, inside zipper pocket. You know what you always have to do? You always have to check these pockets and hope you stick your hand in and find some money. I mean, I hope you stick your hand in and don't find something else but you always want to try to oh money oh and it has a little pocket right here maybe for a baby cell phone because that's not going to fit a regular cell phone I just thought this was great so $8.49 when I look up comps so that means I went into eBay typed in uh, Outback Trading Company vest woman's vest I think I put in there and I looked for comps so I looked for how many are listed then I looked for how many were sold and pretty good sell-through rate, which means the amount listed and the amount sold is pretty good. And um, the average price ranged from anywhere from $50 to $100 and some. So $849, I'm thinking I'm going to list this for probably $50 or $60 and then hope I get somewhere near there. It's just a good piece. I would totally keep this for myself if it was my size. It's a size large. 
oh, it's just a cool piece and it's so soft. And I love like it's a gray blue periwinkle kind of color. And I think there was one tiny little mark on it. Yeah, not too bad. Um, so that was from the other day. Today I went to Goodwill before I got a massage. I get a massage every two weeks because. <sighs> and of course I went to Goodwill. So let's show you some other things that I got today. Uh, dry erase markers with the little felt erasers. This 349. I got three bags of these and I got them for teachers. So I'll bring them to school for teachers. Um, paid $349 for this. Ducks Unlimited beanie. And uh, what I like about this. Man, I'm, I'm, I love a label. I love a good label. I love a good label. $349. I looked up the comps on the, this, and um, some of them were selling for like $50. Can you believe that? For a beanie? But it's Ducks Unlimited. So, and it's quality. It's quality. I And this is like a rubber. I, it's just cool. Uh, this was $349. I believe, I don't want to say this is Fenton. I don't think it is Fenton, but uh, I believe they call this Goofus Glass. I just like it because it reminds me of when you spill gasoline. So I have to clean it. It's pretty, it's pretty dirty in there. But I haven't even looked up comps on this yet because I was like, I don't care if it doesn't sell for a lot or it doesn't sell right away. Um... I will keep it for myself, but I'm probably going to list it $18 because it does have a cool pattern on the inside, but I just like it. I like that. I'm a big Fenton person too because my dad, he was into Fenton. These are Ro Raku. <laughs> I always say Roku, like the channel. Uh, Raku Pottery, $4.49. Here's a little hint. These are in the baggies. Sometimes they're on like the end caps of the aisles or they're on a wall. Look through these because I have found some good stuff because people overlook them. This is signed Callahan 97. It looks like it's probably a candle holder. Oh, feel it. I don't know, but it's cool. And there's two of them. And I like that they're different heights. So if you want to make like a tablescape. Mm, this isn't as good as quality as I thought. Maybe it's not even Raku. I don't know. Look at that. I'm going to look there. I think it's Raku. It's just not done super well. So I'll probably list those for $25 <clears throat> with a, excuse me, and take a best offer. Best offer means I'm open to, it's not a set price. Like $25, you want to offer me $22? Cool. I might take it. Um, This. So one of the brands I really like to pick up is Fresh Produce. And this is a fresh produce sweater. It's $8.49. God, it's just quality. It's heavy. Look at that. It's just a nice cardigan. Uh, it does have a few little marks on it, which I'm going to have to just, you know, work on a little bit. I'm not one that wants to work on getting stains and stuff out. It's just not where I want to spend my time. But look at these buttons. They have a little iridescent. They're just so cool. So this is what the tag looks like on Fresh Produce. Oop, 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 oop. It just says Fresh Produce. Pure hand knit. Large, extra large, 100% cotton. It's made in Canada. It's just a nice, again, if it was my size, I would be keeping it. It says large, extra large. Mm, I don't think so, Canada. It's like they're Australia sizes. Australia sizes, when it says 
two XL and you look at the American size, it's like fourteen, sixteen. I'm like, mm, in whose world? But I just love this. Again, I get twenty percent off. Look at these glasses. Oh my. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me again. Dollar forty nine. Minus 20%. Look at this. You're looking through the window. <laughs> and these are made in Italy. When I look at glass, I look at the bottom to see where it's made. If it's made in China, I'm not getting it. Unless it's really adorable. Then I don't care where it's from. So I got these glasses. Let me get them over here. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> look at Santee. Santy is sleeping by the fireplace. Oh, he's got his little, he's already got his little socks on. Oh my God, Santy. Oh, see, I didn't look at the pictures too clearly before I grabbed them because I just thought, oh my God, it's just cute. Look at it, a little celebration. Look at, they got everything. They got the turkey, they got a cake, they got the champagne, and then they got the fruit. And again, these were $1.49 minus 20%. And then I just think it's so cool how you're looking through. Now you put stuff in it and you're not going to be able to see it unless it's clear, but you can still see it on this side. I just think they would look cool as part of your, like your decor, like maybe um, during Christmas. You know those tall, like windy things you could do that but like with the some of them have like the red glitter I think that would look cute if you don't want to use them but I think you should use them if you have like a little bar you could put it on your bar oh my god and they're like nice for your hands I don't know I love everything gaudy and kitschy I just love it all right um speaking of gaudy and kitschy are you ready for this are you ready for this? Look. Tom Selleck. It's from the Dan Barry Mint. Some Dan Barry Mint stuff. You have to look everything up from Bradford Exchange and Dan Barry Mint. My dad used to buy a lot of things from there. You have some roses from there. All different types of roses. Okay, are you ready? I paid $3.49 for this. I looked it up. They're going for between $22 and $23, $25. Are you ready? Are you ready for what I'm going to show you? Shut the front. Tom Selleck. How many of us liked Tom Selleck? Oh, I had a crush on him. Him and Clint Eastwood. When I was five years old. What? Walk of Fame, Hollywood, Tom Selleck. Oh, what a heartthrob. <sighs> Who doesn't like Tom Selleck? All right. And, oh, I'll show you my other. Oh, 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 do not break this, Jolene. I'll show you that in a minute. Okay. Oh, 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 do not break this one either. Here we go. This is an FTDA false graph, which I love false graph. It doesn't sell for a lot. I just love, you can tell when you put your hands on it that it's false graph and it has a look. But this is from FTD, like FTD floral. So it's vintage too because it's FTDA. But look at, can you see like the heart or the rose? Isn't that so neat? I just love how it flows out like that too. It's such a pretty color. Such a pretty color. And it's two forty nine, dollars maybe $12 to $15. But again, I will put this up and love it until it sells. I'm saving the best for last because when I saw this, I almost wanted to buy it, hurry up and run it out to the car and then come back in. But I'm showing you that last. This is another find that I was like, oh, this is quality. I don't spend too much time in the clothes. This is $8.49. It's an extra large. It is a uh, Leaf Nelson. There was just something, and it's extra large again. 
there was something about this tag that I just was like, this looks like quality. And it's nice and thick. It's a little cardigan. It has a hood on it. Um, tiny bit of pilling on the bottom, but it's just a beautiful piece. Let's see what it says here. It has pockets. Oh, it was made in Turkey. 100% polyacrylic. Huh. Doesn't feel like a polyacrylic. But I looked up comps for these, and these are running between $45 and $295. Who would have thought? So I got that. Um, two more things in here before I show you the magical things. All right. So who doesn't love, who doesn't love acrylic? This was $249. Okay, so when you see it like this, you're just like, mm, who cares? It's acrylic. Remember I told you I love the kitsch. Okay, ready? Whew. Look at this. They're little ducks made out of some kind of pod, some kind of plant. Isn't that just adorable? It this looks really rough. Like it's not, it's not, you can tell it's rah, rah. But no way am I gonna give that up. I've never seen that before. So cute. All right, all right, all right, all right. Another thing that I love to pick up, I don't know why, for $4.49, uh, Pimpernel, they make really good coasters and they make really good placemats. And this one is, so they're made in England. This is six placemats, English Villages. And let me just take one out, it's heavy. So shipping is gonna be a bugger on this one. Uh, I don't do free shipping on anything, so. So that, they're just different um, scenes. And on the back, it will show you Pimpernel made in England. And so it's just different scenes. Um, they're just beautiful. I love them. I don't have a table in my house. I mean, I have TV trays. My house is very small. Um, I live in uh, a townhouse and it's only 600 and some square feet, something like that. Um, so let me show you the piece that Danny, the niche lady is probably going to want and maybe thrifting gorgeous too. Look at this. Look at this. Okay. So. I paid four forty nine. I didn't even look at how much I paid for it. It does have a little um, calcium, which I'm gonna try to get off with uh, denture tablets. And if that doesn't work, somebody told me vinegar. And if that doesn't work, somebody else said rubbing alcohol and salt. Okay. So I love glass, and I know we're trying to make it popular again, right? Clear glass. I just love how it's cut. I just love it. When I saw it on the shelf, I was like, <gasps> so when I go to pick something up like this, I go, that looks like quality. And I grab it and I go, that feels like quality because it's heavy, right? It's signed on the bottom, which is another thing you look for. Now, <laughs> uh, you can see that, right? It's very small, but you can see it right, right there. It is signed, I think it's Cusick. I don't know, I couldn't, I didn't look enough in the store to figure out how much this, that I couldn't find this exact vase, but there is glass in there that is selling with this brand between $24 and like 300 and some dollars. Now, do I think this is 300 and some dollars? No. Am I gonna price it high and take offers? Yes. Do I care if it sells right away? No, because it's beautiful. It is beautiful. And you have to look at signature for signatures on the bottom. You have to, have to, have to. Okay. So um, that was my haul just from today. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're excited about stuff like this like I am. And I'm now going to stop the video, start another video about the two books I'm going to share. Thank you again, 
like, subscribe, comment. It is Jojo, the thrifty teacher. Thank you.